welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Took a little break there. Um, sorry about that, folks. Um, just dealing with this whole quarantine thing that's going on. The whole COVID-19 uh, coronavirus there. Um, <clears throat> I got laid off from work. All right, laid off, but furloughed, they call it. Fancy name for laid off. So, uh... I've just been dealing with a lot of stuff, personal stuff at home. So, uh, now that we got that all squared away, we're getting ourselves back on track. Um, and I still haven't heard any sort of cancellation or anything for Drag Week. Now, that's in September. Uh, the first and second week of September. So, I haven't heard anything on that getting canceled as of yet. We'll have to play it by ear or if they're going to move the dates or move the tracks or whatever. Because I know there's a whole bunch of NHRA events that are been, that have been canceled or postponed. And they're probably going to fill them up towards the end of the year. So we don't know if we're going to get canceled or not. But during the week is when Drag Week happens. It's like it's during the week. So there's not a bunch of national events going on during the week. It's usually Saturday, Friday, show up on Friday, Saturday, Sunday racing. So we'll have to play it by ear and see how it works. See, see, see what's going to happen. If they're going to move a track or go to a different track or whatever. But that being said, like I said before, we'll have to play it by ear. So now, this shit box. Um, I've been on kind of like a standstill with it. But because it's really it's been cold and shitty around here lately it, it, it like it's we're in goddamn april and we got snow this morning it was friggin' 75 80 degrees a week and a half ago and we got snow today so um yeah don't know so anyway um today we are going to um we're going to uh wire in um a fuel composition sensor flex fuel sensor so we can make the holly work with uh when i switch over to e85 um i haven't i haven't run e85 in this uh, for for a bit, because uh, gasoline prices have been so cheap. So, and I haven't really needed it during the winter. I don't usually run it that much, but now we're starting to get into our nicer time of year. So I at least want to get the fuel content sensor wired in and working, and all the tables built in the in the software because you can do one D, two D, three D tables in the Holly software that it will add timing at a, at a certain fuel um, percentage or ethanol percentage. So, and then, or vice versa, it, if the percentage is lower, it'll like, it'll take fuel away from the table. It's a multiplier or a subtractor basically. So, um, we're going to get that all wired in. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. But, um, I'm sure there's a million other ways of doing it. But uh, we got a couple packages here. These are they're just resist 10,000 ohm resistors. Um, I'm going to try a small one first. And then I'm going to try a large one. Work on the bar. But uh, I'm pretty sure the, the small one will be fine. Mike said on day one he wanted to But um what to do from there. So you're gonna pause you. Okay? Okay, first things first. <clears throat> when I had HP Turner's on here, I have a GM fuel content sensor mounted right here. And here's the plug for it. It's already wired for twelve because the way it works, it's with a Holly at least, you got uh, the purple is positive, the black is negative, and the white wire is signal that would go to your stock ECM. 
with a holly, you have to back here. We have a can't really see it on the side way. We have a power tap with your holly harness. The orange wire in the middle, that's five volt. That's five volts. So you don't have to dig into your harness. So we're gonna come out of here with five volts. The vi I'm with the wire, loom it and wire it. So five volts will come up over to here. And then we have to put in a 10,000 ohm resistor. Okay. Then after we wired a 10,000 ohm resistor off that five volts, that five volts has to go to your ethanol content sensor. You're gonna tie it in with your white wire, and then that white wire and the 10,000 ohm will tie into our out our input for our holly harness. Why they need that 10,000 ohm resistor, I have no idea. I'm thinking that in the circuit board of the stock ECM, it must have a resistor in line. It must be feeding five volts to that with this with a uh, with a um five volt resistor that's on the board in the stock computer. The Holly doesn't have that because those inputs and outputs can be used for anything. So, um, so that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna see if it works. Because right now, I if. With it plugged in, if I go in there and turn the key on and, and pull up the laptop and have, I pull up the uh, the ethanol content, content gauge, it gives me an error. So, you have to put his resistor in line. So, I will, uh, and 5 volts. So, I'm going to do that right now. And I'll wire that in. I'll show you how I did it. And, um... And we'll take it from there. Okay, so I took some uh, wire. I used the white because it's the same as the signal white over here. So I used white. I tied this into our power tap in the back of the Holly harness. And that power tap, you have 12 volts, 5 volts, sensor ground, and chassis ground. Those are the four wires that are in it. Red is, red is regular ground. Orange is five volt, black and black, okay? I just attached to my five volt and I have some, this really, this cool wire loom. Um, can't really see it, but it's braided. See it? There's not, it's not split loom like, like this stuff. It's like a braided, it's really nice. I get it on Amazon, it's dirt cheap for a hundred feet of it. But this is quarter inch. And I have eighth inch as well. This is this is eighth inch, and that's quarter inch here. But anyway, so there's my five volt. Now I have to route this to the back of the firewall up over to here, and then we have to put in a ten thousand ohm resistor. So I'm gonna wire in one of those small ones. One of those small gray ones that I have, and we're gonna try that. I don't know if that small gray one is gonna last. I don't. I, don't, I, I want to say it's five watt, so it should, but it might not. That's why I got those other ceramic ones. Those other ceram ceramic uh, ten thousand ohm resistors are are really robust. So try the small one. The small one don't work if it stops working out of the blue. Back. <clears throat> All right, I just want to show you my progress, which really hasn't been that much because I've been slacking, not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway, so back here, I just got like I showed you before, there's a power tap. So I tied in a power tap, and here's my wire here. I put this braided loom on here. And it runs around over to here, and I've got it hanging out here. Now, let me grab this here. Right here, I have a 10,000 ohm resistor in line with this 5 volt wire tap. Okay, and I put a piece of heat. The first one broke, 
believe it or not, the wire broke out of it. So they're fragile. So I soldered another one in, and I put heat shrink tube and shrunk it down, and I took my loom, stuffed it up close to it, and then I put another piece of heat shrink tube over the top of them. So now it's a little bit, it's, it's a lot stronger. This stuff I'm using is uh, marine grade stuff. It's got glue in it. And it gets hard. It gets like plastic when you're, after you're done shrinking it. So, that should last. Now the, the, the resistor itself, I don't know. But, we have options. So, so now I'm just going to run this up around here, along with all the others. And we're going to tap in to our signal wire and then to our input wire so i'm gonna pause you and i'm gonna get that all hooked up and i'll show you my progress really not too much to show i just took the watt the five volt tap with the resistor over to here hooked it into my signal wire that's coming out of my sensor which is the white wire and tied it into my blue and white input one wire which is already in. Now I have all the software all already done. All that part of it's all done. Um, Holly, Holly.com, you can get all that information. Or you could actually search for it on uh, on YouTube as well. Let's go to Holly E85 or ethanol uh, sensor wiring and it'll pull up a video. Right from Holly, Sloppy Mechanics has one as well. Um, uh, there's a few others out there. Devin Vander, Vanderhorf out of uh, down uh, North Carolina. He's got a really good one too. Um, that guy's a wizard. But uh, I'm going to key it and see if it works. And then uh, and maybe we'll take it for a ride. Don't pause you. Okay, boys. We're in the truck. And flex fuel 10%. I got regular gasoline in here, so here we go. There's a wiring part of it, simple pimple. Um, uh, I'll put in a description, and I'll put in the description below um, from a tune file from Sloppy Mechanics. And if you're using the, if you're using Holly EFI, which this is all about. Um, you can download his, uh, certain file and, uh, do use the comparison and it'll put all your tables in for you. And then you can fix the tables the way you want. Um, I opted to take the lazy man way. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry. This one hadn't have too much action in it, but I will, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.